next guest went from the chairman of Kitchen Stadium on Food Network's Iron Chef to being the dark horse of the dance floor. Here's Mark and his partner Lacey on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> You can really see your martial arts training, obviously, in that big move there. Thank you. Wow, that's so cool. Appreciate that. It's called the butterfly, ain't it? Yes, yes. yes. My parents are both kung fu teachers, so I've yeah. been practicing for a while. Yeah, that's is a part of your whole life. I mean, here you are. How old are you here? I mean, look at the dimple. I know, this is so cute. <laughs> I'm, I'm four years old right there. Oh. oh. But the question is, how did I get, how did I get my head in the t-shirt? Yeah, I mean, come on, that is fascinating. Yeah. But your body caught up. This uh, yeah, is good yeah. news. <laughs> your body caught up. And this, of course, uh, is your little daughter. I have to show her because Noe. Uh, she's a big she's Lacey Schwimmer thing. fan. Oh, Lacey? She loves Lacey. I have no idea. I when they came to the studio and they're running and we, everybody in our office when we were watching it, because her little skirt was swinging, and she's like, Daddy! I know, I know. Actually, I was like, I really like your, your tutu. Oh. oh, yeah. When Mark's family paid us a surprise oh. visit today, I just saw his mood completely change. Move oh. it up, no. <laughs> and you know what? My kids relaxes me. If I can bring that energy to the dance floor, it'll be a two-step in the right direction. Bye, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. And Lacey, you did that to kind of relax. Yeah. Yeah, bit. you know, rehearsals are always stressful on this show, and I think everyone gets to see that, but his family just kind of livens him up, and, you know, his kids love Nerf guns. Have you ever seen those things? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Oh, my gosh, and so I love them, too, I know. And so we get into, like, these battles with each other, and then Noe and I pretend that we're butterflies, so, you know. What do they... I think this has got to be so great for the kids to see you dancing like this and having so much fun, having to learn something. You know, oh, having boy. your... When you're a kid and you see your parents take time to learn something new, it teaches you a lot. Well, I was saying that, you know, one of the biggest things I've learned on this show is from Lacey, and that's being patient, being more patient, because I feel like I'm basically four years old again learning these moves. And, you know, she, she obviously is fantastic at what she does, and she knows what she's doing, but for me, she's having to use three or four different tactics for me to get just my left leg over here and my hip over there <laughs> and my pretty hands over there and my head up like this, you know? So, like, now when, I, when I'm, you know, teaching something to the kids, uh, I'll be much more respective of them and, and understand that it's completely new. Wow, it gives you a new perspective on your children. Absolutely. So she's, uh, she's been, a good, been a good mommy for me. Oh. And I already have two, so this is my good third mommy. mommy. Oh, look at Lacey's <laughs> like... <"Arr." laughs> a hot mommy. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Clean it up. It's daytime. <laughs> Lacey, what about when you were a kid? How old were you when you started dancing? Well, both my parents are dancers, and I was probably about three when I started understanding what it was. You know, I'd kick my legs, and my parents would put me in splits, but, you know, I had no idea. But I watched my brother, who uh, won So You Think You Can Dance, season right. two, and I kind of just, I looked up to him in a way, and I think that having a family that works in the industry that you're in now is just kind of cool, and they're so supportive. They drive out every week to see the show. My mom's from Arizona, and she drives out six, seven, hours to see me every week on the show. So and it's she brings awesome. fantastic cookies. They're a good luck charm. Oh boy, she, no, she, she brings no cookies. cookies for everybody, right? Okay, these cookies. Let me tell you about <laughs> these cookies. So they're just basic chocolate chip cookies, but she like puts loads of vanilla in them, like a really not healthy amount. Um, and it's uh, actually a good idea. No, they, they taste so good though. Yeah. Is they're she going to be mad? You gave her a big secret away. My mother hangs out her she, recipes. <laughs> you know, I think there's a little bit more to it, but. Uh, actually, Donny Osmond, I caught him in my trailer the other day. Oh, wow. Wait, right, wait, hold it right there. <laughs> well, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what they do on shows. That's our soundbite. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 
Look at that. I'm just kidding. No, you can finish it. He was in your trailer. Yeah, I, I He caught, said he was looking for the cookies, right? Yes, yeah. I caught Donnie. That's always my this, excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I see this, like, hand, like, reaching for my cookies, and I'm like, what is going on? I open the door. It's his face. He's like, it's like a little kid got, like, caught, like, stealing candy out of a jar. And he was just like, can I have some more cookies, please? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, take some. So then he takes the whole jar of cookies, and I'm like, I meant one, but okay. <laughs> like, Wow, your mom's good, must be flattered. Maybe she could sell them. You know, my mom loves loves Johnny, loves you, but you know that generation just loves Johnny Osmond, and uh, she was like, "You can Is have my, my cookies generation? anytime." <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know some people from that generation. <laughs> <laughs> It's really fun watching both you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. We're going to be rooting for you. Dancing with the Stars here is Monday and Tuesday nights on ABC. We'll be right back.